Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa, creative team member for Whimsy Stamps. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to open your digital stamps in Be Funky. And we're going to resize our image and then save it so that we can print it. Now, Be Funky is a free online photo editor. You, they do have uh, subscriptions, but they also have this free version. It's limited in its capabilities. You just need to keep that in mind. And when you go there, you do need to create account. You don't have to put in any kind of payment information at this time of making this video. So to get started, I'm going to click on create on the home page, and then I'm going to graphic designer because I found it easier to work with my images in the graphic designer area. Now I am brand new to be funky. I have never used it before. So here we're just going to go ahead and pick what size we want our work area to be by going over there and clicking on that create a blank canvas. You can search through templates there also, but I just decided to make my own or create my own. Now here I'm going to go ahead and bring in our image. We're going to go into our computer files. You need to find wherever you have your images stored and then open them up. Click select the file you want and then click open. Now, once you click open, it's going to bring him in to your area. We're going to add as a layer. When you click on that, it's going to add it as a layer. Now, once you have him selected, this image property box is going to come up. And from here, you can do a whole bunch of things. One thing you can't do in the free version is edit your um, pictures here. You really don't need to edit these. You can just size them up and down right here on this graphic designer page. You can add more um, images into this and create scenes if you want to. So you really don't need to edit the photo. It's not like you're going to um, take anything away from him or stuff like that. So I, I recommend using the graphic designer. So you can go through, you can resize your template, which you might want to when you go to print it, make it eight and a half by 11 inches. Now for me, because this was just a demonstration, I just use the 1080 by 1080. So keep in mind always when you're using these programs, how you're going to print these. So most of the time you're going to print them on eight and a half by 11 inch paper. So look for that as a template. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead. We're in our image property box. We're going to look at a few of these um, options over here. We're going to Go ahead and move this little guy in. Now you saw me resizing those. I grabbed the corner and I'm going to show you how to mirror this image. You're going to go into the image property and you're going to come up here and click these two arrows pointing at each other. It's called flip horizontal. That's going to mirror our images. You can move your images backwards and you can move them forward in this uh, options box here. So here are images and we're going to make them small, make this one smaller and just grab a hold of a corner on the image and move your mouse and it'll make it smaller or larger depending on which way you're um, pushing or pulling your mouse. Okay, so we're going to bring in the um, message with this. I've got you covered. We're going to go ahead, add that as a layer. Also we're going to grab a corner and size this down pretty easy. It's a pretty straightforward um, editor here. Now I'm going to come on and save this. So I'm going to go to save right there at the top and click on computer because that's where I'm going to save my project. And I'm going to save it as a PNG file because that's going to give me a transparent background and it's a high quality image. So once you um, Go ahead, you can create a watermark and add your watermark right there where it says use watermark. You can go ahead and rename your file at this point so that you can save it to your computer. And once you rename it, go ahead and click save. And it's going to bring up the save as box on your computer. And then you just decide where you want to store your file. I just throw mine back in with the other Dudley images I have there. And then I'm going to click save. 
So it's a very straightforward, simple program to use. I just started using it, like I said, like I said earlier. But once you have your image saved, you can just go into your file and double click on it and it should open up and you should have an option to print it. You can also open it in other programs that you print in and print it from those programs. So that's just a very quick intro to Be Funky and I hope this video was helpful and I really appreciate you joining me and I hope you have an amazing day.